Yes, good early morning once again, ladies and gents. Yes, this is Zan, the sportsman. Yeah, Saturday night, where can I start? Um, yes, Josh Warrington versus Maurizio Lara. Where can I start? Yeah, what a big upset. One of the biggest upsets in British boxing history. Oh, my God. Where can I start now, man? Um, oh, my God. Um, everything's just gone up in smoke. Yeah. First of all, I don't know much about this um, Maurizio Lara prior to the fight. All I know he was a all I know all I know was that he was a Mexican. And as you know already with Mexican fighters, they're very tough and rugged. You don't mess with Mexicans. Whatever level they are, you don't mess with Mexicans. I'm not saying that's the case with Josh Warrington, yeah, because I've seen him in his last six fights. And he trains very hard. I'm not saying he underestimated the guy, but with Mexicans, you always have to be on top. They're very tough and very rugged. They're very stubborn. And the conditions that they train in very high tempo as well. Them and the Cubans, you, you don't take chances with them. Yeah, what can I say? Um, Something wasn't right. Oh, man. Um, it was just a very bad night. And... um. It was awful to watch. Yeah, you 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 don't want to see a fighter in um in that type of state. I'm not saying um Josh Warrington um underestimated this guy. I didn't know the guy myself. I thought it was gonna be an easy, comfortable night for um Josh Warrington. Well, I shouldn't say easy and comfortable because no fight is easy and comfortable, but I thought he would have done enough to, to finish off the job. But Oh, uh, I mean, this is boxing. Any, any, anything can happen. Um, what can I say? Um, yeah, something wasn't right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was um ring rust, or the training camp wasn't as intense. Yeah, not to say that Warrington didn't train hard, but maybe the tr the training camp and the tactics and the nutrition in and that lot wasn't um quite up to standards you got what i'm saying maybe um warrington struggled at the weight maybe um he had to um cut a lot of meals to make the weight i don't know what what went on but something wasn't right uh because um warrington is always an intense fighter he, you never see him on the back foot he's always the one that's commanding center of the ring and it was this other guy the, the other opponent that that was doing all the the, the um bullying and the aggression Yep, um, it was the Mauricio Lara that was on the front foot for, yep, uh, most of the fight, 90%, sorry, 90 percent of the fight. If you got what I'm saying, he was on the front foot. This Mauricio Lara, he was thrown the more meatier punches, the 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 harder combinations. Um, he didn't really um hit in um rapid flurries if you got what I'm saying but his his punches were the more convincing and the more meatier and I can tell the judges were scoring them because most of them were landing clean and flush. Yeah um Warrington took a very hard fall in the in the onto the canvas in the fourth round and he got up and since that he just wasn't the same. Um something wasn't right man um yeah, it's, it's just um, very shocking to watch. Yeah, um, yeah, it's just devastating. But I just hope um, Warrington is okay. Um, There's rumours that he had to um, spend some time in hospital. If that's the case, I just hope he's all right and he recovers. And this is, isn't the end of his career. And this doesn't shatter his career because he's 30 now. Um, at this stage of your career, you don't want to be taking too much blows like that, especially against younger, hungrier fighters as well. 
you don't want to be taking blows like that because any um yeah if Warrington has a another um devastating defeat or two more defeats like that this could be the end of his career and I, I heard um Warrington relinquish the IBF title I thought the IBF title was in line but yeah, you can't uh, um, afford to be having um, devastating losses like that, especially to um, unknown or upcoming fighters. Because um, if that's the case, then well, it could be um, goodbye and maybe n never a shot at the world title ever again. Yeah, well, we have to um, see um, if Warrington has a rematch. And we have to see if he's going to be the same fighter once again. Um, yeah, he's 30 now. Once you reach the age of 30, the punch resistance goes down as well. I'm not saying um, he can't make it back at the top, but with, with, um, we don't know how much um, punishment he took physically. We don't know how, um, his physical state, but yeah, with, with um, being knocked up so devastatingly like that, and being on the canvas out for so long, the paramedics had to come in and rescue him. Um, we don't know how much um is um um how much has been taken out of him, but I just hope he's back within the next five six months. We just hope he's back. And um, what can I say? Um, yeah, fighting again, back to normal. Maybe he might have to have two to three more fights before he has another shot at. Shot at a world title, but um, just let's just hope this um is a one off and um this don't take so much out of him. But I'm not gonna take any away from Mauricio Lara, very respectable, even in victory, very respectable, 22 years old, and I think the future is bright for him. Um, this this um win will do him a lot of favors, and um this can open up a lot of gates for him. So, well done to Mauricio Lara. Um, that's all I can say. Um, on um his behalf, I hope he um has a good career out of this as well, and um this is a springboard to his career to have um bigger fights in the future, maybe some big fights in um Las Vegas at some time in the future. Yeah, well um that's pretty much um I needed to say for now on this topic. I hope um Josh Warrington is okay and um. Big round of applause to Maurizio Lara, the Mexican warrior. Yes, well, that's it. Um, thanks for watching, ladies and gents. Once again, um, good early morning. Please don't forget to subscribe and please leave some comments below. And um, if you like, um, you can share as well. And don't le forget to leave a like too. Yep. So thanks for watching. Um. I'm signing out for now. Once again, this is Zan, the sportsman.